My name is Brian McLean. I'm the manager of the Ignition team here at Flexware Innovation. Flexware Innovation was founded in 1996, focusing on high-impact manufacturing IT solutions you know, such as MES, automation engineering, business intelligence, um, and, and other types of things in a wide variety of vertical industries. Veneer is a global leader in the automotive industry, uh, focusing on safety solutions and other uh, hardware and software solutions and, and driver assistance and other kind of advanced technology uh, products. The ignition solution built for the Goleta facility was designed to replace a legacy MES layer uh, system uh, for process execution monitoring and uh, data collection. I'm Anthony Barnes, I'm a process and controls engineer here at Vianeer, and here we produce night vision cameras that we sell to automotive suppliers. I would describe the ignition project as ambitious and business critical. The timeline for this process was so tight because we were told on very short notice that our use of the previous SCADA system and traceability system was going to be cut. And we had no built-in time or freedom in our production schedule. So in, in terms of helping meet the timeline on this project, Ignition played su such a critical role in this. You, you hear a lot of times people describing Ignition as a rapid application development environment. And that is absolutely true for us in this case, uh, just in terms of the visualizations that we built, uh, the integrations we had to external equipment and systems um, simply would just not be possible with, with some of the other solutions we were looking at. Ignition is a lot faster compared to our old system as far as making changes, making improvements. Whereas before our old system, it may take years before we'd see an improvement or a change that we requested. With Ignition, it was really built around what our needs were in our process instead of our process being made to fit something that didn't work for us. I'm Jason Eckenrode. I'm an industrial engineer at Vianeer. The new system uh, is a lot more fluid. It's very flexible. Uh, I would say that it's a lot more complex. The old system did a few things and it did them well. This new system does a lot of things and it does them well. And I think that's one of my uh, reasons I'm so attracted to it. I think it just does a really good job at doing a, a lot of new things that we didn't have access to before. I would say some of the biggest improvements and benefits with Ignition have been the ability to make changes or monitor uh, critical KPIs remotely from anywhere that I can access um, an Ignition client. Um, it's definitely given us some improvement, measurable improvement, on production as far as downtime related to communication issues, traceability systems going down. And there's been a cost saving in that too because we're actually able to more accurately track hour by hour production numbers and downtime numbers to make on the fly adjustments to production schedules and delivery times. Right now the primary teams that are using Ignition are the manufacturing quality and engineering teams. However, some management uses it as well. In a way, everyone has their hands in it a little bit. We all rely on the data that comes from it. We use it for different purposes, uh, data analysis, failure analysis, quality analysis, uh, just looking at different process data, uh, validation, the core of this solution was really about customer configuration and, and putting the power uh, of maintaining that solution in the customer's hand. So uh, throughout the project, a lot of attention and detail went into building screens and functionality that, that would really allow the customers to expand upon the solution and, and kind of maintain that moving forward and, and put the power in their hands. The ease in changing configurations on the fly, sometimes with other systems it can be very difficult. There's a long validation process you have to go through, restarting the system entirely, putting the production line down. It's, it's very clunky. With Ignition, you know, I can make a lot of these changes on the fly and see the results of those changes in real time through SPC data and line data. Uh, overall, I think the new system just has a much more modern uh, look and feel, uh, both in terms of visualizations and the architecture involved. Uh, so we wanted to have you know, a lot of attention in place on keeping a lot of the, the core foundational items that were in the old system and not have uh, this be completely foreign to the operators or the engineers you know, behind the system. Um, you know, but at the same time, we wanted to streamline some of the processes involved of communicating to equipment um, and you know, give them more flexibility in terms of you know, how might the system evolve over time. Uh, a good place to start here would be what we call the workstation launcher. And really, this is a vision client that uh, operators and end users would, would launch and we, we tie into their Active Directory security to determine uh, what different uh, applications and uh, pieces of the solution that they might have access to. So the configuration workstation is really the, the hardest application that allows the end users to 
uh, define everything about their processes that, that would be used as part of the solution. So uh, things you know, like the locations of you know, what are the different pr uh, production lines, pieces of equipment, uh, different things about those uh, that we might need to capture at a high level. Um, and then we can also do things in here, you know, material definitions of parts and suppliers, security, uh, shipping, uh, but, but products here, this is a, a good example of, of really where we define a, a product uh, that's going to be run on the manufacturing line. And we can go in and, and we can you know, do things like re different revisions of the product, uh, set up some high-level information um, ab about if we're going to you know, pack out the products and different validations, uh, you know, where the dunnage uh, inventory is going to be going to. Um, and then we can get into the bill of materials and define all the, the different parts uh, that go into that product, uh, you know, that, and that can branch off and do things like you know, inventory tracking um, and, and, and lots of other functionality. But uh, the production route tab here, this is uh, really the heart of it where uh, we can go in and define all the different operations uh, that are in the product and in the route. And one of the other core screens and, and aspects of this solution is, is the production tracking application. Uh, so here's where we can see a high-level overview of, of the different production lines that are running on the floor, uh, what the current status is, what orders are we running, what are the quantities of those orders. Uh, we can start drilling into those at a deeper level um, and, and see individual serial numbers of products that are running on those lines. So when customers ask us if Ignition can solve the problem that they're describing, I mean, the answer is almost always yes. There's a way you can do that with Ignition. Yeah, one of the best things that, that I saw during this project, is, especially as we got closer to the implementation of it, uh, is just the, the, the collaboration that we have between the Flexware development team and the Veneer team. I was very happy with the job that Flexware did. Um, everyone that was on the Flexware team was very helpful. Um, anytime we had an issue, a change request, uh, something we needed done different or improved, or maybe even a new um, capability implemented, they were very good at doing that quickly. Uh, I'm excited to keep working with Flexware and Ignition. I think that uh, they're, they're an absolute asset to our team. And there's been a few times where I've talked to some coworkers and I'm saying, I forget that Flexware is not part of our team. You know, uh, it seems like they've really integrated themselves uh, here at VNR, and I really look forward to the new tools we're going to be able to build.